Bombinin Aruba. Welcome to Aruba y bienvenidos a Aruba. Dear colleagues, uh, I'm happy that you have been able to join us here on the One Happy Island of Aruba uh, for CIFA 2020. This is already the fourth edition of the International Forum for Circuit Economy in the Americas. Um, I'm having here uh, just to introduce you uh, to the audience. Uh, on my left, uh, Ken Alston, who has been with us since the beginning, uh, basically a co-founding member of the Circuit Economy Platform of the Americas and the Circuit Economy Forum of the Americas. Uh, on my right, Irina Reyes, a uh, colleague from Chile, and also basically our senior member of the platform. And um, we're happy that you've been able to travel under COVID uh, conditions. I guess for all of us, it has been like uh, this is the first opportunity to meet each other again in person after uh, several months of being locked in. Um, I would like to start to just give you an opportunity to have a conversation uh, and share with us your experience of this year and um, be able to share with, uh, with our colleagues and audience about uh, how you think circuit economy is going to contribute to us uh, re, uh, re establishing or reactivating uh, not only the economy but our whole society in essence. So let me start with ladies first and you feel free to speak in the language you, you want so if you want to switch to Spanish you're welcome and uh, bienvenidos uh, Irina, adelante. Bombini. Bombini. <laughs> Remember to put on the, the mic. Thank you. Bombini. Um, gracias por la invitación después de tantos meses. Eh, la urgencia de la pandemia es primero, pero la reactivación debe ser sostenible. Y la economía circular sostenible es el camino. Y por eso estamos aquí para compartir con nuestros amigos eh, y con todos ustedes nuestras experiencias eh, después de una crisis ambiental, sanitaria y social también, por qué no decirlo, eh, es necesario tener esta mirada de cooperación entre el continente, entre el mundo entero para poder salir adelante. Gracias, Irina. Uh -huh. Ken, switching now to English, um, what, are, what, is, what has been your observation for this year and how do you see the you know, 2021 forward? Well, Kevin, thank you first of all for the invitation to be here. I'm very happy to be on one happy island again with you. <clears throat> you know, we were here four years ago almost, and since then we've been able to work on the circular economy roadmap for Aruba, and so it's good to see that things have progressed. Um, but of course, we've all had a very unusual 2020. And for the last year, we've had nothing that has worked in the way it's worked before. <clears throat> All of the consulting work that I've been doing has been virtual. And this is the first time, as you said, to be able to meet literally face-to-face, -face, socially distanced, but still face-to-face. -face. And I think there is a difference between doing things virtually and being present. And I think this is something we mustn't forget. It's been good. I've connected with people in India and Australia and all over the world virtually. And this is good because we can continue to communicate. We don't have to be always physically present. But I think there is something special, something very human, something very social about being together. Even last night as we assembled before coming here today, we were talking around the dinner table. And we were having a very vibrant conversation. But it's the sort of conversation you can't have when you're virtual. So I'm really happy that we are back together again. And I think looking forward, of course, we have the vaccine to look forward to in next year. And hopefully we can begin a transition back to something more like what we were used to. And, and I think there are good social reasons to have some social inter interactions. But I'm, I'm positive. That's great to hear that we all have a feeling of positivism. Uh, I think that's really needed. Uh, you've uh, observed many challenges throughout the Americas this past year. Uh, as you indicated, it's, uh, it's different. There are good and positive things and also some 
uh, challenging situations uh, that have occurred during this year. Uh, for me, a fascinating experience has been the, the transition of suddenly having to deal with the family at home, <laughs> having to improvise how to continue to respond professionally for your work while being more assertive, more attentive to your family and having the kids around. So I guess most of us have had to deal with this and that is a sudden change in your day-to-day -day reality. And, but it also allows you to appreciate things uh, more because you feel like, okay, uh, sometimes it's, it's indeed important to focus on things that really matter to you. And that's obviously our family and friends and, uh, friends and uh, uh, dear colleagues. So before we transition to the, to the official um, section of this program, uh, this year we have a two-day program as, as usual. Um, we have a podcast recorded version, so that's why we are in this setting today. Uh, with the social distancing. And um, we will be uh, having three sessions each day. Uh, each session will be have a duration of two hours um, and where we will be able to have uh, quite extensive conversations and discussions about the topics uh, at hand. And we hope that this format uh, will become, uh, we are actually trying to pioneer a new format of uh, bringing about uh, yeah, the, the conferences. In this case, uh, we already started last year in Medellin, Colombia, and this is the the next version where we think that uh, each year we are able to improve and extend our ability to reach to thousands and thousands of people. Because one of the objectives of CEFA is to make sure that we uh, create awareness about the topic, what circular economy is about, how it benefits our societies how it contributes to sustainable development, and uh, eventually also hopefully inspire people to become change agents. And uh, through exchanges, through dialogues, learn. Learn about what it is and hopefully identify practical solutions to enable people, everybody involved in the region to move forward on uh, bringing about solutions that, are, that match this uh, new reality of COVID, but also the climate crisis and whatever other crisis on, on, on the horizon, and um, achieve uh, yeah, a proper and well, uh, good livelihood for all. So I want to thank the, our sponsors and uh, our contributors for this year's version of uh, CEFA, uh, CEFA. Uh, mainly, uh, Thanks to the government of Aruba for their support and uh, hosting us this year as the official host. Uh, we want to thank uh, our sponsors, uh, in, in this case, uh, Amsterdam Manor. Um, they are, we have interacted with them about four years ago. Uh, Ken and I were here on Aruba for another event, and since that moment we have already you know, built a good relationship, and the owners and the, the management is really convinced about this topic, and we thank them for their contribution and support. Uh, I want to thank the Palm Tours for their contribution of uh, helping us to, to get mobilized on the island, but also to have the opportunity to, for you as our guests to get to know the island and also see and help us think about potential solutions uh, to some uh, challenges that we experience on the island. And, uh, of course, Aruba TV. So we are today, uh, for this week, uh, being hosted here at the studios of Aruba TV. So we thank the whole crew, the whole team, for, for uh, everything, for your um, co cooperation. And, um, of course, other uh, entities such as Q Credits, Aruba Bank, Quihi, and Gianni's group. Um, we thank all of them with uh, in, the, in the sense that they've contributed to the whole program and allowed us to bring you as international guests uh, here and have a great experience together while on the island. Um, do you have any final words before we, we close this initial session, um, before we transition to the formal part of the program? Please. Well, I think that the COVID has given us an opportunity, maybe that we wouldn't have chosen for ourselves, but to, to reset. 
you know, we've had to do this social distancing, we've had to stay at home, we've had to learn a whole new way of operating professionally. It's been fun seeing your kids on some of the Zooms we've been doing together. Um, and so I, I think it is a time to, to say, okay, we can see the 2021 looks brighter, so what are we going to do? And I think these are the sort of questions that we will be answering, hopefully, around the table, or at least discussing, even if we don't come up with the answers. You know, what do we do now? We've got a chance to start over. And uh, I, that's the challenge I'm looking forward to, is trying to define, okay, so what's next? What's next? Irina, do you agree? What's next? What's it, next? See? El, y lo importante es también uh, que no es la distancia social, no perder esta, est, lo, lo social que nos distingue como seres humanos, sino más bien una distancia espacial de espacio entre nosotros, pero socialmente reunidos siempre para, en este caso nosotros, eh, para compartir e inspirar, como decías tú, acerca de la economía circular. Y sobre todo para llegar a lugares muy distantes de las ciudades. Eh, las grandes ciudades están trabajando por ser cada día más smart city, más inteligentes, pero falta cómo nos conectamos con ese mundo local, con esas ciudades que están más alejadas. Y este es un espacio para eso, para llegar a estas ciudades y para llegar a estas localidades. Muchas gracias. Pues uh, terminando esta sesión en español, uh, pues estamos muy contentos de también poder recibirlos acá en Aruba para intercambiar uh, pues las, las experiencias y conocimientos de cada región o cada país en la región. Y uh, siendo acá en el Caribe, también nos interesa mucho ver o conversar durante estos días sobre soluciones circulares para contextos de islas. Entonces, uh, si ustedes podrán y los otros colegas aportar a uh, darnos ideas, sugerencias y, y ya yeah, ser parte del proceso de, de, de transición, uh, es muy pues, bienvenido. Y para terminar, uh, se me olvidó adicionar otro um, auspicio que es por parte de Guardian Group. Uh, queremos ag agradecer a ellos también para el apoyo a CEFA 2020. Y um, con estas últimas palabras, quiero uh, bas básicamente agradecerles y invitar a todos los uh, participantes de CEFA que nos van a seguir durante esos días para... Um, por favor, siempre acercarnos, estamos dispuestos y disponibles para contestar. Uh, visita, por favor, la página web www.cefa2020.com y allí encontrarás más información sobre el evento y también podrás uh, llegar a nosotros o podés, podrás contactar a cada uno de nosotros. Y con estas últimas palabras, muchas gracias y bon Aruba, welcome to Aruba. And let's go. Let's have a fun day. <laughs>